Yeah, so uh, no, it, it is funny. I have had that plenty of times because, like I said, I do have a brother named Christian. Um, but yeah, just uh, just wild coincidence there. Is that yeah, what it's to do with your hat? No bull. Yeah, no bull. It's, yeah. it's been an awesome uh, sponsorship. You know, they they've really been uh, doing a great job. You know, giving giving us all the gear that we needed uh, for up throughout this whole week. You know, it's comfortable. It fits well. Uh, just for what we need and obviously there's a, a really nice uh, noble suite that they have for us to know that we can stay fresh stay ready to be able to compete the best of our ability. Did you meet with the Bills? What's that? Did you meet with the Bills? Yeah, I've just spoken through some teams with some of those uh, interviews just kind of the round robin type thing. You know? One of the quarterbacks at ODU, Daryl Mack, can you, can you tell me about him, the kind of teammate he is? Yeah, uh, Max, he's done a, DJ's done a tremendous job with us. You know, he's always been a great guy to have in the locker room. You know, he can be friends with anybody. Uh, been a great job, you know, just playing around with him. Have you met with the Buccaneers this week? Yes. Uh, was that an informal? Uh, formal? Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, I met with the tight ends coach. Uh, good conversations, you know, I'm excited about uh, a lot of these interviews. Just saying, uh, excited to keep it rolling. Who are we talking to from ODU next year at the podium? Who are we talking to? I don't know. It could be a toss-up, honestly. You know, uh, we got some great uh, young guys that are, uh, you know, up and coming. You know, excited about uh, our guy, uh, Marion James. Uh, he's obviously had a, a lot of hype with them. Really, you know, out of high school, he's a local kid. Uh, so, you know, he's a dynamic player, especially on special teams. And uh, I don't know, we might see him on offense a little bit here this season, too. So I'm excited about it. And who's the toughest guy you saw in a game this year? Toughest guy, I'd, I'd say uh, Chamari Connor. Yeah, going against some uh, Virginia Tech, he's, uh, he's a hell of a player, a tremendous guy. I'm actually training with him uh, down in uh, Exos as well. Uh, he does a tremendous job. He, he's a professional in all levels of the game. Uh, how he prepares and uh, how he trains. He takes care of his body, so a lot of respect for him. You're a lot bigger than him. The size differential with him, what makes him still stand out despite that frame? Yeah, you know, some guys, uh, you know, you face a bigger bigger opponent, you know, you got to figure out a way to, you know, get it done. Obviously, I'm going to have the, the advantage in the, in the height game, so, you know, finding ways uh, in, in any which way that you can to kind of create the competitive advantage. What do you do formally if you have met so far? Uh, I haven't really met with uh, the teams formally uh, thus far. It's just kind of been kind of that round robin thing so far. Um, you've shown you've been able to do it in the past game. How do you feel uh, as a blocker, especially at the next level? Yeah, I'm extremely confident in my ability as a blocker. You know, year year after year, you know, I'm getting stronger. You know, gaining some more weight that that only helps you kind of perform better at that level. And so, uh, I, you know, I've done a tremendous job, you know, improving on that, like, year after year after year. And I'm very confident in my ability just as much as in the past game, I say I'm the wrong game. How was that transition from Penn State to Old Dominion? Sure. I feel like it, it really, Penn State really helped me gain that groundwork. You know, in high school, I was just asked to be a better athlete than everybody else, you know, and I was able to do that. Uh, when I got to Penn State, you know, it took me some time to develop. And, um, you know, put on the size, put on the strength that I need, and also learn, you know, learn how to watch film uh, properly, learn how to take care of my body properly and prepare like a pro as, so I can, you know, perform like a pro. So it really helped give me that uh, groundwork for a lot of that, you know, especially with the run game, and I feel like it's taken off a lot since then. Awesome, thanks. As a track star, your, your athleticism is not the question, but uh, when you are lined up in the slot or out wide, what are some keys you look for pre-snap to, to figure out how to, to work your guy off the line of scrimmage? Sure, yeah, I mean, you know, you look to you look to the safeties, can always look at a corner, you know, corners tell lies, as we like to say, um, but, you know, it's a pre-snap uh, uh, recognition, post snap confirmation. So you know it's happening quick. You know at the spur of a moment to be able to you know adjust to a lot of those things. Um, but honestly, looking at leverage, leverage is a huge aspect of it. And you know if I have a head up to outside leverage or opposed to like head up to inside or, or whatever it would be, you know I have different plans. You know for each of those scenarios, and, and that kind of goes hand in hand. You know watching the film, I, I create those plans in my head, given our concept, given the down and distance. So a lot of that. Um, you know, based off the leverage, what coverage I'm seeing kind of changes up how I'm going to run my route.